Hi kids, welcome to Storyteligator. Hello kids, welcome back to Storyteligator. Today I'm going to read Peter Pan for you all. So let's start the story. Peter Pan lived in a magical island named Neverland. He could fly and didn't want to grow up. One night, he and his fairy friend Tinkerbell went to the city and saw a sleeping girl named Wendy through a window. Peter Pan woke her up and asked her to accompany him to Neverland. Wendy was quite astonished to see Peter Pan but agreed to go with him along with her two brothers. Peter sprinkled magic dust on all of them and they flew to Neverland. Their Peter's friends were waiting for him. They took Wendy and her brothers to their home. Wendy enjoyed the food they of- they offered her. All of them started talking about Neverland and the magical things that happened in that island. As all the boys in Peter Pan were paying their attention to Wendy, Tinkerbell started feeling jealous of her and left the house in anger. Jealous Tinkerbell tried to harm Wendy, but Peter and the other boys saved her. They built a little hut to accommodate Wendy. Peter asked Wendy to become the mother of the lost boys and to narrate them interesting stories. He showed Wendy and her brothers the island. He also introduced Wendy to the princess, Tiger Lily. Hmm. He had saved her from the pirates. Peter warned Wendy to stay away from the pirates. Peter took Wendy home and asked her to take care of the children. Then he went out to get some food. Wendy narrated many beautiful stories to the children. Suddenly, Wendy and her brothers started crying. They were missing their home and parents a lot. Meanwhile, Tinkerbell had realized her mistake and apologized to Peter. They became friends again. Peter and Tinkerbell returned home with some food. He saw Wendy sad and inquired about it. She told him that she was missing her home. Peter promised to take her back once the pirates had left the island. Wendy asked Peter about the pirates. Peter told her about the cruel Captain Hook, who was the leader of the pirates. Captain Hook wanted to capture the princess Tiger Lily and rule over the island. Sometimes, some time back, Peter had fought with the captain and drove him away. However, a few days back, he had returned to take revenge from Peter. This time, he had a steel hooked glove and was even more powerful than before. Wendy stayed at the house built by Peter for another ra- night. In the morning, Peter went to Princess Tiger Lily and told her that she that he wanted to arrange for Wendy's return. Meanwhile, Captain Hook kidnapped Wendy and her brothers and took them to his slip and took them to his ship. Oh my god, let's see what happened next. Tinkerbell and the lost boys saw him and immediately reported to Peter Pan. When Princess Tiger Lily heard about Wendy's kidnapping, she sent some of her soldiers along with Peter Pan to fight with Captain Hook. Peter Pan went to the ship with the soldiers and fought bravely with the Captain Hook. The captain ran away with his men. Wendy thanked Princess and Peter Pan for saving her life. Peter Pan Tinkerbell and all the lost boys took Wendy and her brothers safely to their home. Wendy was overjoyed to see her parents once again. Her mother agreed to be the lost boy's mother too. However, Peter Pan loved his island, so he and Tinkerbell returned to Neverland. Their tiger, Lily, made him the chief of her army. Hmm, interesting story, kids, right? I hope you all enjoyed it.
Take care. Bye bye. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.